Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an SPF record on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to add an SPF record. And if we want to do that, we'll have to go to the products page, click at your name at the top right corner, then click at my products, which will take you into the products page. Once you're here, just look for the domains here. If it's closed, make sure to expand this. Then just locate uh, the domain name that you would like to add the SPF record on it, and then click at DNS on that domain name. That should take you into this page. And of course, as you can see, this will be the DNS records. If you find it, this will be cool. Make sure you are on this DNS SEC. If you are in host names or something, make sure to select it. Once you're here, click add this add option. And as you can see here, you'll be able to change the type of the, the record that you would like to add. Make sure from here to select TXT. Of course, some of you will say, uh, we said SPF, not TXT. But remember that SPF records are a type of TXC record. So once you choose this TXC, make sure to enter the details for your SPF record. So the name, which is the, the host name of the record, simply you'll have to type it, uh, at to put the SPF record on your root domain or enter a specific such as mail. Of course, and the value you will have to enter the SPF Sorry, so you'll have to add the SPF rule to be applied. For example, enter V equal SPF one uh, space MX uh, dot all not dot like, sorry, like minus all and uh, to indicate emails are allowed from your mail servers and no other, uh, no others, of course. So the SPF records must have fewer than 512 characters and only UTF minus eight characters are supported and of course on the tll option you will have simply to uh, change here whatever you want how long the servers like should cache informations the default settings is one hour as you can see you can see here default but of course you can change it to whatever you want you can even change it to custom once you finish of course make sure to change it to click at this add record and you will be good to go so that's actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye